<laughs> Who is she? Wow, I don't think I've ever felt less cute in my life, but it's about to get worse. And yes, I did take out my extensions and yes, I did cut my hair myself and I regret everything. This week I've been browsing on good old YouTube and this video caught my eye and I thought that looks fun, let's try it. I've zoomed you in so you can take in what we're starting with, but we're going to make it even worse. We're going to do a bad makeup look in hopes that we can Photoshop it into my goal, an Instagram baddie. Now, I do think editing takes skill, talent. It is an art form, but it is important to know that a lot of what we see online everywhere, pretty much, is some form of reality distorted, whether it's just like a staged photo or completely edited makeup look. I hope that this video gives you a little bit of a wake up of what can be done. So a picture is not reality. It is not the truth. You can definitely hide a lot, which we're gonna do today. Let's start with the eyebrows. We're just gonna really just fill these guys in. You don't really have to worry about the shape, that's easy to fix. I'm actually finding it hard to do it really, really bad, but let's just let's just go for it. Okay. Now let's complete the look on the other brow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Pat, I'm gonna apologize right now uh, for what is about to happen to my face. Skin texture is something that's really easy to fix, so. We don't need to worry about that. Let's do a quick little conceal and contour. Now, this blemish right here is still peeking through. We don't gotta worry about that. We don't have to worry about that for a second. I feel like we lost some brows, so let's just pop these guys back. I'm just gonna go straight in, oh my god, with this. Maybe a quick, just little blend. It's fine. It's fine. For eyes, I'm just gonna do an all over pink look. Oh God. Ooh, baby, pigment. Okay. Ooh, it got in there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. This is such a weird feeling to be doing my makeup like this. Just do it to the other eye. Yeah. Feel like we need like a lot of blush. So let's just do all the colors. Should we do that nose thing that everyone's, do? oh, okay. It's just like a reflex to want to keep blending and I'm trying to really hold myself back, but I think, yeah, let's do a little bit more. We definitely need highlight, you know? Oh, that's good. Actually, that doesn't look that bad, but okay, I'm gonna make this worse. I need to make this even worse. I'm making this too easy on myself. I'll just put the highlight like everywhere. How about that? I'm gonna throw on some green tinted highlighter from Becca to just, you know, really get it popping. I'm gonna put some of that pink on the bottom because why not? Much better. Let's do lips now. We're gonna do an all pink look, so let's throw on some pink liner. I think I have too much chapstick on <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay okay all right let me give you <laughs> some poses it's almost like an avant-garde like neon demon look i feel like i could have even made it a little bit more crazy but i swear without this good lighting it looks even worse let's get a wig on okay let's get beautiful here's the wig in case you're wondering <laughs> Ouchie mama. <laughs> Who is she? She is brushed, but I think we're gonna do a hat. Cause this look just says like a hat to me. Honestly, I feel like I could have done even worse. I don't know why, but I, I kind of like it. Okay, the eyebrows are a little crazy and my skin looks bad and my eyeshadow's not blended. Okay, maybe it's bad. Guys, I'm like already so catfishing because I don't even, this is a bodysuit and I don't even have it on. I just have it hanging like this. <laughs> all right, here she is in all her glory. Now we have to snap some Instagram photos and edit them to aesthetic perfection. 
Oh God. Now for editing, I wanted to use the apps that I felt like most people on Instagram used or knew about. And most things you see on Instagram are probably going to be done on these apps. I picked this photo to edit. I thought this photo was perfect because the lighting is awful and you can see my makeup in all its glory. I started working right away with good old trusty Facetune. I feel like everyone knows what Facetune is, but it's like a beginner's Photoshop. I wanted to clear my skin texture, my makeup texture, but I didn't want to completely blur the photo. So I went ahead first with the clone stamp tool. Actually, is that what it's called in Photoshop? Photoshop is like a very similar thing you can do. And I went ahead and repeated this over and over again. Next, I couldn't take my brows anymore. For these, I went in with the reshape tool and just resized away. I made them a lot smaller and I changed the shape. I also went ahead and kind of resized typical things that I noticed other people are commonly reshaping, which is like lifting the eyes, under the chin, the neck, and no shade to anyone. I'm just saying this can be done. Then I hit up the smoothing tool, not the smoother tool, I feel like that tool is very aggressive. And I use this for my unblended eyeshadow, my leftover skin texture, pretty much just everything. I really just wanted to make this like super edited, you know what I mean? Another super popular thing I see done is whitening the whites of your eye with the whiten tool. To keep in line with the over edit, I just went ahead and clone stamped the little bits of my bra creasing you could see through my bodysuit. Let's come back to Facetune in a second. Another app that exists is an app called Retouch. Not totally necessary for this photo, I could have done this in Facetune, but I wanted to let you know something like this exists. So you pretty much just select whatever you want in the photo and it will like 90% of the time just get rid of it perfectly. Like another human, it can probably just get rid of it. Next app that is just an editing game changer is Lightroom. It's an insane way to have like full control over the color of your photo. So you might hear people use the words like preset or filter and you can buy ones already made or you can make your own and just copy and paste. I just copied and pasted my own filter on there and then you can kind of adjust the exposure or the shadows or go color by color to make the photo exactly how you want. You can tell how much I can adjust the true color of my eyeshadow. So what was once a faded pink is now a bright like magenta red. I felt like the lighting was still bad, so I brought it back into Facetune and I used the paint tool pretty much all over my body. But I still wasn't happy with the, I don't know, the lighting, so I went into an app called Snapseed. With this tool in Snapseed, you can literally go like pinpoint by pinpoint and change the brightness, contrast, saturation of a certain area. And I thought, why not brighten up the background too? There is no doubt that the after photo looks heavily edited, but I feel like this is a type of editing you can see on Instagram. I'm interested to see if people accept this or if I'm called out. Also, quick middle of the video disclaimer. I know I kind of set this up like a tutorial. I am by no means telling you to go out and do this to your photos, but I am just trying to lay out and show you is done, what to look out for, and not to by any means shame anyone who edits their photo at all or shame someone who doesn't edit their photos. Everyone's entitled to do what makes them happy. I haven't posted yet, but by the time this video is up, I will have posted the photo. So let me apologize now for catfishing you, but I hope that you found this video entertaining. Usually I say something like, I hope that you learned something, but I don't think my makeup tutorial taught anyone anything. Maybe not what not to do. Let me know were you shocked by how much you could edit? Were you shocked by the before and after? Or was this something you already know and you're already a average consumer of r slash Instagram versus reality? I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. It helps out my channel a lot. And if you, my God, my hair. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, I have it linked down in the description. Make sure to check it out and comment on the photo from this video that you were either catfished or exposed me or tell them to go watch the video. I'll definitely be updating the caption so people know, people know what's up. I love you, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon. Bye!